Hi, this is Barnes Tales, and today we've got with us John Darley, who is a soul folk singer songwriter. So, uh, how are you today? I'm very good. I'm very happy. Yeah. Mm. How are you? Good. Good, good, good. So, where are you from mainly? Uh, I was born in Stoke. Um, I live in Congleton now, yeah. I spent, which is like a small town a bit of south of me. I spent last year in Manchester, living in Manchester, back in the Congo. Now. Do you do a lot of gigs in Manchester? Um, I did last year. Like I really sort of got into the the scene and did as many like open mics as I could, and a few kind of you know paid gigs and stuff around. Um, but now now I've moved out. I do I do the odd gig. I've got a gig coming up this weekend at the Marble Arch. Is that Manchester? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just outside the Marble Arch. Yeah. Where's your favourite place to gig so far? Uh, I did an amazing gig. I can't remember a lot of the gigs I've done because I've played a lot. But um, I did an amazing gig the other weekend, which was like a, an intimate gig. Uh, it was for Samsara Sessions. It was a, a secret session. So there was myself and three other artists, and then about 20. 20 people there, and that was amazing. Cause the caliber of, of, the, of the other artists was just like amazing. So, yeah, 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 yeah. It was just a really nice atmosphere the whole night. It was just really, really nice. So, that's my, my favorite gig in memory. <laughs> yeah, what's the largest crowd you say you played so Again, in, in memory, oh, it's about 600 people. That wasn't very long ago, was so At the, the King's Hall in Stoke, um, it was like a, a music awards night for Staffordshire and Cheshire. So we yeah, played that. It's pretty good. So it was good. I like the feeling. I like the feeling of playing to a lot of people. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I want to play to lots and lots of people. What made you want to do this? Like, when did you first play? Um, I first picked up the guitar when I was uh, 10, uh, 11 years ago. And um, I don't know, I just, I loved music. I loved music when I was, when I was younger. Uh, yeah, a lot of, I think a lot of the stuff musicians were saying resonated with me. And I don't know, it's just a passion, isn't it? It's just something you get, you get into. And, um, and I didn't like, I don't think I'd, I really like, aspired to be famous or anything, or like, or a musician per se, I just like enjoyed music and wanted to be able to play music, so, so I started. Um, Have you got any like big influences or anyone that's like inspired you to? Yeah, like, um, it's a... Uh, Really, like individual, really individual people, like um, like Jimi Hendrix, and Jeff Buckley, John Lennon, and Bob Marley, and like you know that are, that are like purely themselves, really authentic. That they that's what inspires me. It's, the kind of music is almost secondary to to that. I don't know, um, and uh, and other than that. Uh, other people really inspire me. Like I'm, I'm devoted. To, I'm devoted to a guru. I have a guru. guru. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> She's called Satguru Sri Ramana Devi. Ah. And um, um, over the past three years, my life has completely transformed through her love and guidance. And, and um, so she inspires me. She's a shining example of a human being of how of what we. are of the potential that we hold within us as human, so that's. So is this like a personal person, or is it a religious thing? I mean, um, well, she teaches Hindu philosophy, but, yeah. but it's not, um, it's not uh, really assigned to any sort of dogma. She doesn't ask anyone to change their religion or whatever, but kind of accepts all religions as as a, a path, as a path to the same place, and that. 
because the essence underlying all sort of all religion is is like love and unity, yeah. and um, and uh, so you know she she teaches ways to get there basically within yourself, uh, and just and just loves people. You know she practices what she preaches. She doesn't just come out with stuff. She she lives it. She's an example of of real religion in action. What's the name? Sri Ramana Devi, Satguru Sri Ramana Devi. I'll, I'll like yeah. write it down for you after. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you're religious kind of? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, religious in terms of I, I practice, you know, I have spiritual practices that I do. And, um, meditation. Yeah, meditation and fusion. And, and I'm serious, I'm really serious about yeah. it. I want to become the best version of myself. Yeah. I, I, I want to be self-realized I want to be happy all the time I want to fulfill my potential and love people and help people and you know I, I don't I don't just want to live a life of little enjoyments here and there and a lot of suffering and then I die <laughs> I refuse to accept that that is the be all and end all of life I point blankly refuse um, so, <laughs> yeah. You're looking to find your higher state of consciousness. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. That is one way of putting it. Exactly. Or, or to merge with God, or, or to become self-realized, or to find enlightenment, or anything you want. But, but that's that is my aspiration. And music is. Does is that a, push you musically? Yes, it does. Music is a tool. It's a tool for me. Sri Ramana has guided me to do more music, and to share myself through music. Um, to, to bring me closer to that reality. Um, you know, so music is a tool for me. That's my passion. That's my true... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. When did you start getting into all this then? Is that something you've always had? Or um, did you grow up with this? I grew up... I, no, no, no. I was like... I was like devoutly atheist and like yeah. took the piss out of anyone that talked about God or like, Christians at school and stuff yeah. and, uh, but I was really unhappy I was really unhappy from sort of from the, about the age of 11 I was sort of thinking about stuff and like I asked my mum sort of what, what's the purpose of life why, why I'm here and stuff and, and yeah yeah and, and I didn't get an answer and then and then uh and then I was really, I was really unhappy and grew more and more unhappy. And then, when I was about 17, um, I was I was taking loads of drugs and stuff and really like hurting myself. I was really hurting myself. And uh, uh, and then and then and I really lost the plot. Like I, I went like really crazy. And, um, and I had a really hard time uh, and was really suffering and everyone around me was really suffering and my family and then and yeah and then I met and then I, um, I was like I kind of had an awake a spiritual awakening but, but was but it was too much to handle and I was going really crazy and I was still taking loads of drugs and I still had loads of issues that I didn't want to look at emotional issues but finding Satguru Sri Ramana she helped me uh, see what I was holding on to you know bury past experiences that deeply affect who you are in your life like like um, you know my my dad leaving when I leaving my mum when I was two and I didn't you know it's not stuff you're consciously aware of but it's there it all has a massive impact um, and and uh, and there's so there's obviously loads loads more to and I see my dad by the way my dad he wasn't <laughs> he wasn't like a bastard I've had a very loving upbringing but um, but uh, you just had a realization one day yeah yeah and and it's and it's a, you know it's a process it's a constant thing of, of um, realization is 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 realizing more and more of who who you are. Who you who you really are, yeah. And uh, 
so and um, so it's just, onwards and upwards. So does that help with writing songs? Yeah, yeah. That's, all, that's all I really write about. I find it difficult to, to write. Yeah. Um, to find, but, but I, am, I, you know, I am writing and I'm assisting. And, um, but, but yeah, that is, that's, that's what I write about because it's what I care about. And I, yeah. and I wouldn't want to write anything that I didn't care about. I wouldn't want to sing about anything that I didn't care about. You know, I've got, I want to sing from my heart. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that got pretty deep. <laughs> so have you got any um, new work coming out soon? Any EPs or yeah. you know about? Um, that's where I've been today, actually. Yeah. With Sam Sir Sessions, which are like doing loads of stuff in Manchester and for, for the musicians in Manchester and the surrounding yeah. areas. And like, um, they just recorded a live sort of EP album thing today, so it's quite stripped back with about eight tracks on it. And I'm recording my next EP with them, like full pro full production kind of thing, in the coming weeks. And we're doing a video together for, for a song that was on my last EP. And yeah, so loads, loads of sorry, just seeing people on there. Loads of stuff coming up. Yeah. Any gigs? Yeah, uh, the Marble Arch, which is in Manchester this weekend. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Marble Arch in Manchester. Uh, I'm playing at a place called The Exchange in Hanley in March. I've got a few, a few gigs coming up in March. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, up, like, they're on my Facebook and stuff, I can't remember them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we look forward to uh, seeing more of you. Yeah, cool. So, thank you. Yes, thank Thanks. you very much.